Here's the field now for race number 13, the final heat of racing for this evening's card. A claiming handicap pace, one mile, a purse of $3,200. Field of 10, number one, James Powers, Ryan Holton, the owner and driver from Newark, Ohio. Number two, Finian Bay, by Bob Delbianco and Rosemary George, Bob Harper. Uh. Number three, Float Across, sold by Mike Metters and uh, Jeff Coleman of Ohio. Mike Metters drives. Number four, BJD Special, owned by Pearl Paver of Marysville, handled by Ray Paver Jr. Number five, KG Derrick, owned by Jim Taylor of Troy, Ohio. Eric Ledford drives. Number six is Lindy Hop, owned by Alan Marbaugh of Groveport. Herb Coven drives. Number seven is Fritzy Flem, owned by Richard and Bill Fritz of Mechanicsburg. Rick Dingledine drives. Number eight, one up, one down, home by the for-profit stable of Mainville. Chip Noble with the lines. Nine is Millie's Nitros, owned by Jan Severt of Freeburg, Illinois. Greg Haston of the bike. Number 10, Gypsy Howe, owned by Earl Spalling of Lebanon. Randy Tharps in the sulky. When place showing. 13th race, Clemming Handicap Pacers are on behind the gate. Gate swings into the back stretch. And there they go. They're off fan pacing. First away between horses. Key, KG Derrick away for the lead on the outside. Lindy Hop pacing is second. On the inside, Finian Bay gets away third. To the inside, racing fourth, James Powers. Early five of the inside is Gypsy Hal. Dropping in sixth is Float Across. Racing early seventh. As they round the upper turn comes BJD Special. Inside racing eighth, Fritzy Flem of the outside ninth. Here comes Millie's Nitros, the early trailer racing tenth. One up, one down. At the first stop, 28 and four fifths. Moving down through the stretch for the first time. On the front, leading the way. It's Lindy Hop by one. Inside racing a second. KG Derrick to the inside third. Finian Bay. Here comes James Powers. He's the first to move five. Gypsy Hal has the cover racing sixth. Millie's Niatros three wide. She's hung out to dry as they reach the halfway point. It's Lindy Hop by a length at the half 59 and one fifth. James Powers on the outside second. KG Derrick pacing a third. Gypsy Hal to the inside racing a fourth. Three out of the outside five. That's Millie's Nitros. Inside and buried sixth. Finian Bay. Outside racing is seventh. Float across. Inside eighth. BJD special. And pacing ninth. Three wide comes Fritzy Flem. One up, one down at the back of the pack. They're tightly bunched as they reach that three quarters. After three quarters and one twenty-nine and three, James Powers on the front leads by a nose. But on the inside, Lindy Hop. And he's not done yet. He fights back. And Gypsy Hal then set to go three wide as they turn for home. They've now lost than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Lindy Hop on the inside. James Powers, KG Derrick dropping down low, far outside. Here comes Float Across, and Float Across comes alive. Mid stretch, Float Across gets up to win it. On five. Nine Millie's Nitros, 10, and number 10, Gypsy Hell, 2. Recheck, 4, 3, 1, 8, 7, 6, 9, 5, 10, 2 on the bottom. The winner, number 3, Float Across. Oh, by Mike Metters and Jeff Coleman of Ohio. Mike Metters, the trainer and driver, pacing the mile. A new lifetime record in 159 and 2. 310 Perfecto, $194.20. 310 2 1 Superfecta, $11,400. One dollars even. Well, that wraps up the program for this evening and the 1992 Grand Circuit Stop here at Sayota. Thanks for joining us the entire week. We invite you back again as racing resumes on Monday night, post time, 7:30. Until then, this is the voice of Sayota Down, Steve Cross, wishing you a safe and pleasant trip home. Good night. <laughs>